Hey, thanks for coming over. Oh, don't worry, I'll get the door. Yeah, come have a seat. I know I was kind of cryptic on the phone, asking you to come over tonight, saying I had something I really needed to talk to you about. I didn't mean to freak you out or anything. I, I promise I didn't bring you here to tell you I'm dying or moving to Australia. No one's going to jump out from behind the curtain and scare you either. No, no, all, all our friends are fine. This is just about... Uh, you and me. You know, just like it should be. Uh, do you want something to drink? I've got wine, beer, soda? A snack, maybe? There's some chips and things around. No? Sorry, you know me. Always playing the host, even when I don't need to. <laughs> I can't help it. I just love to take care of people. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I am a bit anxious. Maybe we should just... Mm, get to why I asked you here. It'll be better once everything is out in the open. Just no more secrets. Whew. Okay, so, um... We've... We've known each other for a long time. And all this time, there's been... Something that's been driving me crazy. Something I've just... Needed to tell you. Needed to get off my chest. There's always been this, you know, this unspoken thing between us, and it's just been building and building, and I don't think I can go on like this anymore without saying anything. Honestly, I've felt like this practically since I first met you. But I never had the opportunity, or, you know, it wasn't the right time. Now it's like, if, if I don't just blurt this out soon, I might just explode. It was... It was actually a few weeks ago that I finally said to myself, Enough is enough. You need to sit them down and tell them how you feel. If you don't do it now, you never will, and you'll always regret it. I don't want to live with any regrets. And I don't want to live like this anymore with you not knowing. It's, it's, it's not fair to you... Or me. You need to know the truth. My real emotions, my real feelings towards you. Then you'll know everything and we can finally move forward. So, this is why I brought you here tonight. To confess to you how I've always felt. To finally be open and honest with you. Here we go. I... I really need to let you know. I... I fucking hate you. Oh, please. Don't look surprised. You had to know after all these years that you're always at my house, even though I never invite you or ask someone to bring you here. You always overstay and never fucking leave. I try to be polite and nice, hoping you'll get the hint and start behaving like a decent person, but no, no. You just keep being a pest who just won't go away. Well, what did you think I was going to tell you, huh? That I was going to come out and admit I love you or some bullshit? That I've secretly been wanting to kiss you every time we've been in the same room? Yeah, sure. More like I've been envisioning myself pushing you down the stairs. Or wrapping my hands around your neck just to make you shut up. No, 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 no. Stay where you are. I'm not done yet. I've kept this inside for too long and you're going to listen to me. I planned so many ways I wanted to just make you go away. 
so I didn't have to talk to you or hear your voice again. I almost shoved you in front of a bus when we were all leaving a bar, but there were too many witnesses. I almost held your head down under the water when you tagged along at the water park. There are so many ways I considered ending you so I would finally be free. So many ways to just get you out of my life forever. Oh, <laughs> don't bother trying to get to the door. I took care of that when you got here. Nothing is going to stand in my way tonight. Uh, you could have made it easy on yourself if you'd just taken a damn drink. You would have gone so peacefully, just like falling asleep, but... Of course, you had to make things difficult. Just like you always do. Luckily, I have a backup plan. A good host is always prepared. This is all your fault, really. You decided to stay around. You decided to come here late at night on your own. I mean, when have I ever asked you to come here? Ever. Let alone at this hour. You had to know something was up, but you came anyway. Why? Curiosity? Were you really so delusional that you thought I was going to get on my knees and tell you how much I love you and want to be with you? You, you stupid bitch. But it'll be better now. I'll just let everyone know you came by my place, like you always do, to tell me you were moving away. You got a great new job and just didn't want to have some long, teary goodbye. They'll never hear from you again and we'll all be better off. I'll have my life back and you'll be gone. Oh, don't look so frightened. I don't want to hurt you, not really. I just want you to die. There's a big difference. This can all be over quickly. I'll slice your throat. You'll bleed out in seconds. I hear it barely hurts if the knife is sharp enough. I made sure this one was, well, good and ready for you just in case. Or maybe I can convince you to just have that drink. It'll save me the trouble of cleaning up all the blood later. I'm having a barbecue tomorrow, and it'll be such a hassle to get it out of the rug. I don't think club soda is going to work, but, uh, well, I'll figure it out. No? Well, I'd be lying if I said I hadn't predicted you would make things harder for yourself. <laughs> As always. Come here! Oh no, you're not gonna get away. I've waited too long to finish this. Come here. Come. That's it. Stay still. There we are. Can't wriggle away with me on top of you. Oh, if you would just have been polite and behaved yourself, this would have all been over already. But no. You have to be difficult. Why couldn't you just go away? <sighs> Whew. Wow. Now, where did I put the bleach and scrub brush? Ooh, I really don't want